Okay guys, this is it. This is what I'm doing. I got this chaga. See this beautiful chaga. I will give uh, compliments to Joe's Neon. It was a few weeks ago. We're up in the Adirondacks and the man spotted this up in the tree and it, I couldn't uh, not let him get it. So he climbed 15 feet in a tree and chopped this giant chunk of chaga out of the tree. It was a birch tree, which it grows on. You can see we got some water on the boil there. Take it off a little bit. But anyway, I've broken it up into smaller chunks, as Joe said, which is cool. And I've made a batch of tea. You can see it here. And what I did this time is I let it sit in the hot water longer so it extracted a little more of the color and flavor out of the tea. And I've made that batch there out of those three chunks. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put this, uh, those three chunks back in the water and uh, make another batch. I'm going to be honest with you, chaga tea doesn't have a ton of flavor. It's not going to jump out and grab you. It's uh, real mellow. But it is good with a little honey and uh, you know sugar I guess but if you put too much sweetener in it it kind of kind of takes takes away from whatever flavor it does have which is not real super strong um, so yeah I'll get back to you in a minute alright guys so there you go it's been 10 minutes the chog has been at a low simmer Look at that color. Wow. Awesome. Shut that off. So, I haven't done a ton of research, but supposedly the chaga has a lot of antioxidants. And uh, apparently the Native Americans consumed it quite a bit. I have, I have to do some research. I haven't really watched or done much research. But I, it's just what I've been hearing and reading about. But anyway, again, it doesn't have a ton of uh, flavor. So I usually put some honey or something in it. Here we go. All right. Chaga tea. Cheers.